We explain the Zika virus. Vicky and Daniel are planning on visiting Brazil this summer for the Olympics. They are worried because the World Health Organization recently declared a public health emergency of international concern regarding the Zika virus. It is spreading rapidly in South America and travel notices are in effect. Should Vicky and Daniel still visit Brazil? They decide to do some research to learn about the Zika virus. Zika is a flavivirus in the same family as yellow fever, dengue, West Nile, and chicken gunya viruses. It reached Brazil last year and has spread to the Americas, Pacific Islands, and Africa. It is transmitted by Aedes mosquitoes, which contract Zika when feeding on an infected person. Experts believe the spike in Zika has a lot to do with climate change. Last year was one of the hottest years on record. The warmer the weather, the faster mosquitoes grow and reproduce. Plus, who can tell mosquitoes not to fly across borders? If infected, symptoms such as conjunctivitis, fever, and joint pain last several days, and the virus remains in the blood for about a week. Fortunately, severe infection requiring hospitalization is not common. So Daniel and Vicky wonder why Zika is causing a health emergency. Well, because of a possible correlation between the Zika virus in pregnant women and microcephaly in their babies. Microcephaly causes infants to have a smaller head than usual, typically as a result of incomplete brain development. The number of infants with microcephaly in Brazil has dramatically increased since the spike in Zika virus. Vicky and Daniel are not planning on having a baby anytime soon, but they can spread Zika to others if they become infected. They don't want to contribute to another outbreak abroad. Vicky and Daniel look into vaccines. There are none yet, but medical researchers are working hard to create one. If they decide to go to Brazil, they can prevent Zika by staying in air-conditioned areas, behind protective screens, and using bed nets. They should also stay fully clothed and use an environmentally friendly repellent when outside. If infected, staying inside for a week to prevent mosquito bites is recommended. And there's good news. Researchers are experimenting with genetically modified male mosquitoes. They may help stop the spread of Zika, by passing a gene along to a female Aedes mosquito, causing offspring to die. Pesticides are also being sprayed and standing water receptacles, where mosquitoes breed, are being emptied. Vicky and Daniel do in fact decide to visit Brazil for the Summer Olympics. They take precaution, are proactive, and have a wonderful time. We recommend you do the same.